Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I have another Coffee and a Classic unboxing. This is the box that arrived in June, June 2021. I know it's December, I will get there, I will get caught up, I promise. Um, so the book that we got this time is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Let me start off by saying one thing. These boxes are so cozy. Like I feel so relaxed and comfortable anytime I'm gonna do one of these boxes. I really do. I mean, I think you can tell I have my little granny sweater on, have my hair up in a scrunchie, not a hair tie, a scrunchie. You know that's comfort. And I don't know, I just, I think maybe because it comes with a snack and a hot beverage, I just feel comfort and coziness. These are just really nice boxes. So, Pride and Prejudice. This book, <laughs> I'm probably the only woman who was gonna say that I don't like it. I don't like this book, I find it boring. And I really, really, really wanted to like it. I've been wanting to like this. One of my favorite movies is um, You've Got Mail, that one with Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. And in that movie, Meg Ryan loves this book and she refers to it constantly in the movie and when I first saw this movie which I've watched it a million times but it probably came out I think when I was in high school and I've liked it since then I was like I have to read this book I have to read Pride and Prejudice and then in the in the movie you see Tom Hanks trying to read it and he's like reading it and like rolling his eyes and like you can tell he's not liking it that was me reading the book so I mean I was just disappointed in myself for not liking it I'm like how do you not like it you've been wanting to read this you love that movie you want to be Meg Ryan in this movie you want to be Kathleen Kelly and you don't like Pride and Prejudice but I don't, I don't. And I actually have a copy of it already. Um, I had gone to Barnes and Noble way back years ago and I bought like, they have like super cheap classic books um, for sale. And I bought this paperback one. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was really, really inexpensive. And so like the cover is just like a flimsy little paper cover. So I'm kind of glad to have this nicer one. It's not a hard cover, but it kind of seems like rubber or something. So it's not like a hard, hard cover book, but it's not like a traditional paperback. So it is lovely. It is very nice. Maybe I'll try to open it up and try it again. But um, as for now, I'm not doing it because I got other things that I want to read. I already read it. I already know what it's about. I'll try it again at some other time, but no, not right now. So anyway, hopefully I'll like the items and maybe it'll kind of like encourage me to read it again. But um, as for now, I want to get caught up with the boxes. And so I am not about to sit down and try to reread a book that I read already and did not like. Like with the others, we get this beautiful, durable photo box. Um, I love these. I love them a lot. And actually, since I subscribe to so many book subscriptions, I get a lot of bookmarks. I've been getting a lot of bookmarks and I have some of my own, not very many, but I, I have some of my own. Um, and so I'm, I'm like getting kind of overwhelmed with the bookmarks, but they're so lovely. I don't want to toss them. I really do like the bookmarks that I get. And so I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'm going to start collecting bookmarks. And so honestly, one of these photo boxes, I think I'm going to start using to keep my bookmark collection. So, um, and of course you can keep photos, anything you want. Like I said last time, I've been keeping eyeshadow palettes in one of them. And so they're just really nice to use for whatever. And uh, they come, like I just opened it up and they come with a ton of this. So I've been actually kind of keeping that too. And so it's also nice like if you're gonna do like a little gift box for somebody, you know? So I don't know, I like getting these little boxes. So you get your little card like with all the others and it just kind of tells you what the items are. So this box came with a loose leaf tea. Um, I'm gonna boil some water. It says seep for five to 10 minutes. Um, so I will do that. And here is the mug. This is a cool mug. I shall be miserable if I have not a excellent library. That's really cool. And then on the other side, you get this. I, I like this mug a lot and it's uh, kind of like a, a creamy color, like an off-white color inside. One thing I really like is it doesn't say that it's something from Pride and Prejudice. It's 
a quote from Jane Austen herself. And I really like this. I really, really like that. So that's probably my favorite mug that I've received from these boxes so far. And I know it's only the third one, but um, it's gonna be hard to top this mug. So let me go brew. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my tea going. So I just got a couple more minutes before it's ready. So moving on. The, oh, by the way, let me just say, I opened that pouch. That tea smells divine. It's like a minty smell. And so then I was looking and it, and it doesn't say it on the actual like um, bag of tea itself, but over here in this card, so this is nice to have. It says peppermint tea from Adagio Teas. It smells really good. So hopefully it tastes good like that too. Um, and then here's the snack. These look good. They look very buttery. These are, what is it? Lemon tea cookies from nuts.com. I don't know, like maybe I'm just judging by first impression, but look at all the little crumbs here. They look very buttery to me. So I'm gonna be excited to try that, but I'm gonna wait for the tea to be ready so I can have it all together. All right, let's see what we got. Hey, you guys, future me here interrupting for a moment. I was editing and I just kind of noticed this on the tea. I thought it was super cute. Right here, it says Pride and Peppermint. I was looking on here to see if it would say the flavor of the tea and I couldn't find it, but Dodo over here didn't realize that it says Pride and Peppermint. So I thought that was freaking adorable. Anyway, I just thought I'd interrupt to show you guys. Right, here's the bookmark. Very, very pretty bookmark. And it's like the one from Wuthering Heights where it was kind of like a wood. Um, and you can kind of see back here the little grains from the you can see back here the grain from the wood. So it's like a very thin piece of wood and it says completely and perfectly and incandescently happy, Pride and Prejudice. Very beautiful bookmark, love it. Um, so now I'll add it to my collection. I'm so happy to be having a collection. So actually back to this guy, it says that it's, the bookmark is a quote printed on Western red cedar wood. So that's kind of nice to know what kind of wood and stuff they used even. Here is a print, and what it says on, on the card that we received is that it is a Pride and Prejudice book cover, five by seven frameable art print. So I guess maybe, I don't think it's an actual book cover, but I guess maybe it's what the cover looked like at some edition that they had. Um, so it's, it's nice. I mean, it's a nice little, I love little art pieces like this. And finally we get these coasters. I love you most ardently, Pride and Prejudice. Very cute. I think it's a set of two. I like the little box. Yeah, it's a set of two. So it's, it's stone. Um, and the back has cork. So they're beautiful. They're really, really beautiful. So it's absorbent stone coaster sets. So that's really nice. I like these gifts. I like the gifts. My favorite gift was the mug. Oh, the mug. Second would be that bookmark. And I like the coasters too, but I would say the mug, number one. Um, all right, all right, it's been time. So let's do this tea. I have this, um, I don't know if you've ever seen. So you put all the stuff in your tea. I even put like uh, German rock sugar in it. And then it, it's kind of been leaking, so I put it on a plate. So then you get your mug and you get this and it just kind of pours it into the mug. See it coming down. Now I did add creamer. I don't know if creamer's gonna be any good with peppermint, we'll see. Mm. Wow, I've never had peppermint tea. That is delicious. Oh my gosh, that is really, really good. Oh. All right, cookies, cookies, cookies. So the lemon cookies. Oh boy, here come the dogs, they think it's I think that's a hint that they get too many snacks. They get too many treats. Every time they hear like something opening, they all just come, they're like a mob. Okay. You get a good amount. You get 12 cookies. 
and they're they're kind of thin, but mm. very good. Mm. They're not like super super crispy. Like I thought they were gonna be like super crispy. They're a little more crumbly. Um, but that lemon is there. It's a very good lemon flavor. Um, not over the top, but very noticeable. Mm. Oh, it got dark fast. It's only 5.30. It's pretty dark already. Anyway, this box was awesome. This box was awesome. I love the gifts. I love the tea. I love the items. I didn't like the book, but I liked everything else. But that's okay. That'll happen. That'll happen. And maybe at some point, maybe after reading it again, I'll, I'll like it a little more. Maybe we'll we'll warm up to each other. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.